Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Eviscerator Gaming. Uh, I just want to go over another uh, basic uh, build video, make a build video for you guys. Uh, this one's going to be, I'm um, going to be focusing on headshot damage. So it's pretty much a headshot build. All right. So with this build, I'm going to look, take a look at a sniper build. I probably made back a while ago, but this is what you would generally see for a headshot build. Uh, going all the way back to maybe the third update or so. I can't remember which one had the major update. But in this one, I'm focusing primarily on headshot damage. Now, I'm just going to get right into it because I'm going to be actually going over two builds or two loadouts actually for this, this video. Now, this first, uh, this first build, of course, I'm starting out with the, uh, I'll start with the primary and secondary weapons. I'm going with the Nemesis. Um, if you haven't already had it, there is a way to get the Nemesis. Um, there's a, it takes about two to three weeks unless someone drops it and drops it for you. But either way, the Nemesis it has a 2.4 million uh, total damage. Uh, this one, this particular one is not maxed out on marksman rifle damage, but pretty close. Um, and then it has headshot damage and critical hit chance. Now it has electromagnetic accelerator. Many shots fired deal zero to 100% weapon damage based on how long the trigger is held before releasing. And as you can see, it's got the 45% headshot damage, 10% uh, reload speed, 5% weapon handling, and Nemesis Barrel on the mods. All right, my secondary weapon is going to be a paratrooper SVD. Um, now, you can pretty much use any marksman or rifle with this. You can use M1A. Uh, classic, but I like to use paratrooper SVD for this particular uh, loadout. And this one has 413.3k damage with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage um, 111%, 9.5% um, crit hit chance. On this particular weapon, I put on Optimus, but you don't have to put on Optimus. Uh, with the Optimus, Optimus, it's uh, you know weapon damage is increased by 3% plus 3% for every. 10% ammo missing from the magazine. Not really an ideal talent for a weapon that has a small magazine, but it still works. Uh, 15, uh, 15 uh, in the magazine. And then for the mods for this, I have the digital scope, uh, which gives me another 45% headshot damage, uh, minus 5% uh, crit hit damage, and plus five rounds in the magazine with 10% uh, stability. And another 10% stability with the, uh, on the muzzle. Now, I could add crit chance and crit damage here, but I chose to stick with the stability and headshot damage. Now, if you look at my build, I'm using aces and eights, uh, four out of six pieces, um, because two pieces give me 15% marksman rifle damage, and three, three pieces give me an added 30% headshot damage. And the four pieces, which gives me dead man's hand, uh, you flip a card when landing shots with the marksman rifle. After five cards are flipped, the damage of your next shot is amplified by 30%. More shots, shots are enhanced, uh, the better the hand revealed. Now, of course, it shows you here, four of a kind is four shots, uh, full house, three shots, aces of eights, two shots, and flip an additional card on headshots. So your primary objective with this particular gear set is to get headshots in a row, specifically four shots, four headshots in a row. And of course, like it says, and flip an additional head, uh, card on headshots. Uh, the next piece I have here is a Walker and ha Walker Harris and Company, a chain killer. And this uh, one piece Walker Harris gives me another 5% weapon damage. And here I have rolled on weapon damage, headshot damage, of course. And this particular piece came with crit hit damage. Now, if you notice, I have an empty slot here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to look for a headshot piece, headshot, actually headshot mod and see what I have here. And so I'm rolling with headshot damage here and the same thing with the, the mask. And I'm just going to take it off one of my pieces that I have here. And I think I only have one 10% um, headshot damage. 
or maybe I don't, maybe I have more. But either way, um, I'm putting headshot mods on these pieces, uh, on the chest piece, the mask, and the backpack to increase the headshot damage. And of course, my holster, same thing. I'm uh, running, I'm modding this with the attributes for headshot damage, and also on the knee pad, maxed out. And also on the gloves, max style headshot damage. And for the backpack, I'm using at uh, Araldi Holdings, uh, which gives me an extra 10% marksman rifle damage uh, with headshot damage uh, rolled on here. And in this particular piece, I create hit damage. And of course, I put that 9.8% uh, headshot damage. If you can find 10%, of course, that's better. And this also has vigilance, increases total weapon damage for 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for four seconds. Now, this is a particularly good piece for this type of loadout, this type of build, because uh, primarily you'll be shooting from cover. So which is there are other advantages to that for, because of my signature weapon here, attack 50, uh, attack 50 C rifle. Uh, it has uh, uh, it's capable of penetrating all but the heaviest of armored targets, hitting multiple weak points in a single shot and creating a decompression shockwave that damages nearby enemies. Reduce damage against named enemies. So, of course, I'm not going to be using this as often, but it is a great uh, sniper rifle. And, of course, this has flashbang grenade projectiles, which you can, of course, change to the concussion grenade, if you would like. All right, and for the mods, I'm using a Reviver Hive, of course, a refill speed 163. That's a long time, but it helps you with it, this type of build because you're you're pretty much really squishy and you have no armor, but uh, basically no armor. But uh, the range is eight, eight meters. Uh, duration is 226.8 seconds. And, you know, it just revive and I've revived armor 34.4% because I'm running 9.4% reviver armor repair on one of the mods. And of course, duration. And this last mod is really no, I mean, you can put range on here and the repair charges and stinger charges do not apply. All right, and of course, for all my bills, uh, if you look, I have my watches all the way maxed out. You usually get this at 1,000, uh, but this one, um, I'm at my shade level is 2,125, and all of my offensive, if you notice here, headshot damage is 50 of 50, okay, which is very important for this, for any build that you're making. Uh, you want to be over 1,000, which is shade, uh, your shade level, okay? Now, uh, we take a look at the, the stats. Uh, if you notice here, my weapon damage, my primary weapon, well, this is the, my primary, which is the Nemesis. Weapon damage is 2,422,58 uh, damage, okay? Now, the, if you look at the PvP weapon damage, 645, that's really pretty good. If you run around in PvE, you can actually sit around and headshot people, but um, I, I'm not really rolling in, the PV, in PvP like that. But if you notice, um, I'm not really concerned with crit chance and crit damage, but it's not bad. It's 19% uh, out of 60, which is not too bad, you know, and crit hit damage is 72%. But the most important thing is the headshot damage which is 310.8% headshot damage. And that's the, really the most important thing for this build because it is a headshot damage build with the chain killer. Now, I didn't go over the chain killer as much, but the biggest thing about the chain, chain killer is that after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800% of the weapon damage this is raised to 1,250% if your headshot damage is greater than 150%. So this goes hand in hand with aces. So you're increasing your damage. And pretty much if you're hitting headshots one after the other, it is one shot, one kill on most enemies. Okay. So that's it for this, this particular headshot build. But I did say I wanted to show you another build that's uh, commonly used in a raid. And it is headshot, but it's mostly used for pistol. And I just wanted to put, put those two together on this build because it's, of course, a headshot. Now, I've named it my pistol build, but you'll see this commonly in the raid. And this is mostly used for Razorback because of the Ravenous. Now, the Ravenous can be found on the second raid, Iron Horse. Um, 
But in this particular build, I'm using the same signature weapon. Now, the TAC-50 rifle, if you look in the sharpshooter, you will see that it gives you that digital scope that you saw on my secondary weapon that my M1A, I mean, my SVD. And in this particular, uh, uh, in this particular uh, signature weapon loadout here, I have, uh, I have attributed this uh, to the rifle added damage, 15% increased rifle damage and marksman, 15% marksman rifle damage. And of course to my pistol, 15% increased sidearm damage. And I've also, um, this, this, uh, signature weapon is also good for, uh, one in the head, which gives you 15% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles and allows for precision kills and also 15% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil and faster reacquisition of shots. All right. So that's very important. I know normally I would not use this uh, tactician or anything else like that. But another good uh, thing about sharpshooters that after 20 seconds of cover, you start generating five marksmen and five rifle ammo every 10 seconds. And group, all group members that are closer to enemies, then you get 10% headshot damage. So pretty much it's a headshot build and you're giving 10% headshot damage to your team. But in this particular build that I was referring to, um, I, you can see here I have punch drunk, which it gives me um, 20% headshot damage. Okay, this is a, a, uh, a named item for DNH, punch drunk. And then on the chest piece, I have the sacrifice, which gives me 50% headshot damage and perfect glass cannon. Now, all damage you deal is amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60%, which is really not a good deal. But if you're, you're using it correctly and you know how to stay out of harm's way, then you'll, you'll be fine, and, uh, but you'll be getting, putting that amplified damage of 30%. Now, in this particular build, I'm using a Dodge City Gunslinger's holster, which is pretty much key to this build. Um, you have the weapon damage, weapon handling, and 10% headshot damage. Now, while your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 sec, seconds up to 100. Uh, when you swap to it, your, uh, your, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. Uh, my next piece is going to be the Overlord Fox's Prayer, which gives me 14.8% weapon damage, 8% damage to target out of a cover, and 10% headshot damage. And I'm also using Contractor's Gloves, uh, which gives me that 8% damage to armor, and I've maxed out uh, weapon damage and but I wasn't able to get headshot damage on there. Uh, my next piece is the gifted, which is a pro named Providence uh, defense piece, which gives me since I'm running two piece along with the sacrifice, I get 15% headshot damage, 10% crit hit chance. And as you can see, I've optimized weapon damage and I'm getting crit hit damage and I rolled headshot damage onto this build. I mean, onto this piece. Now, perfect vigilance, uh, vigilance. Uh, increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage, disable this buff for three seconds. Now, if you look here, um, I'm using the Ravenous for my weapons, uh, which is uh, my primary here. Now, the great thing about this weapon is that it's, uh, it gives you rifle damage, crit damage, it damage the target out of cover. So that's 10% damage to target out of a cover, plus the 8% gives you 18% damage to target out of cover. Now, this has Jerry and Frecky, I guess that's how you would pronounce it. Now, on trigger pull, fire both barrels at once. Now, when fired from the right shoulder, hits in offensive primers and defense primers when fired from the left shoulder. So right, offensive primers, left, defensive primers. Now, hits from shoulder will detonate all of the opposite shoulder's primers when present. So when detonated, each offensive primer deals 100% weapon damage, while each defensive primer grants plus 4% bonus armor and 10% amplified damage to armor plates for five seconds, which is important when you're dealing with, uh, with uh, the last boss on Dark Hours. Okay? And also primer effectiveness is doubled at 10 stacks. 10 stacks doubled, so you would shoot over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder, right shoulder again, left shoulder so we're going back and forth 
it's like it says primary effective is double that 10 stacks. So if you can get 10 stacks, which takes a little bit of practice, um, you will uh, double, double your uh, effectiveness of the primer and do a lot more damage. Now, since I'm running the Ravenous, I'm using the pistol, which I'm using a D50, which pretty much is going to give me the highest amount of damage um, if I'm not using a, a uh, if I'm already using an exotic on my other, on my primary and secondary. So the D50 is going to give me 549k, 47k damage, which I have rolled pistol damage and headshot damage. But, you know, I, I think, uh, I wish I could put swap speed on one of these, but, you know, I want to go for, I'm using one of my, a classic M1As that I use for my other builds, which has boomerang. Uh, critical hits have 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If the bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has 40% increased damage. So this uh, 492.7K damage uh, and hits pretty hard. Uh, actually, I, as I always say, is one of the best uh, weapons in the game. Now, if you look at my skills, of course, I have that reviver hive skill uh, with the, you know, the long 163.6 second refill speed, but it's pretty much, uh, if you're running six reds with no armor, your armor is pretty much 726K armor, you're gonna want a reviver hive or something that's gonna give you back health. Um, but this, um, usually in a raid, if I'm running this particular set, I will run the chem launcher, but however, there is a pulse that we can use, which is the Achilles pulse skill. Uh, target a single enemy with a pulse, which identifies weakness, weaknesses, highlights them, and causes damage to those areas to take headshot damage. Useful for solo snipers or as a support skill user, painting targets for your teammates. So you're going to paint a target and it's going to create headshot. Uh, and you really don't need to have uh, more than tier one. But of course, there's other builds that you can make that you can really... Um, get over uh, tier six, which gives you two zones and, you know, duration is longer along with skill haste. Um, but for as for the purposes of this build, you really don't need to be tier six with this pulse. All right. So that's it. Well, you know, this one, like I said, I'm using a riot foam and when I run around uh, without it, when I'm not in the raid, what I will normally do is just put something that's really fast on here. Um, uh, usually, I'll run to group a vector An along with, let's see, I'll keep the one in one day and I'll put on a Regulus and I'll run around and just hit, do headshots and cause massive damage. A Regulus that uh, gives you a regicide headshot kills, create a five meter explosion, dealing 400% weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my build video. And uh, please like, subscribe, and on any of my channels, uh, anywhere I'm at, uh, YouTube, Twitch, and wherever else. Uh, take it easy. Agent needs assistance. Rogue striker drone detected. 